Welcome to the Dad Code Podcast. Real dads. Real talk. No BS. Newberry. Hey, anytime you see this in front of the camera, you know what time it is. Another hot sauce review. Brought to us by our good friends. Imminent. At Siete. Yep. We're going with a hint of lime. Yep. It's going to pair well with uh, all of your hot sauce needs. I mean. Salsas. All of their chips. The Blake even brought out some holiday chips. Some goodies. Yeah. Go check them out. All your uh, favorite grocers should have it at this point. Mm -hmm. I think they're they're in Walmart now. Everywhere. It's huge. Huge. Costco. All of them. All right. So we got some hot sauces. We actually got one that... uh, We'll tell you more about it here in a minute. So let's let's go ahead and get our competitors lined All right. up here. We got we we chose two from the Parker's International Box of Mystery. Yep. And everyone knows that's been watching. We've had such great luck out of that box. <laughs> but today we're going with Belize Blaze. Okay. From the country of California. Yep. It looks like snot. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. It looks it look at. Would mm. you look at that? That just looks like Tasty. snot in a bottle. Mm. Okay. And then we have Chipotle pepper, the Manchu Pichu. Manchu Manchu Pichu? <laughs> Manchu Pikachu. Oh, geez. <laughs> From the great country of Irvine, California. There you go. There you go. It is a country. All right. Uh, we also have Calamity Pain from oh. our friends at the Pepper Palace. Wanted dead or alive. Calamity Pain hot sauce. Bring some pain. From Sevierville, Tennessee. There you go. And this hot sauce was actually sent to us by a company. Uh, it's called Woo's. Woo's Ultimate Hot Sauce. Thank Burns you, Woo's. like heck, not like hell, <laughs> I guess is what that is. There you go. Thank you, Woos. Thank We're going to give it a, a nice fair shot here. We don't play favorites. We don't at all, no. but uh, we definitely will uh, let you know what we think about it. I can say I've never had it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, let's start with the, the mystery <laughs> box. You want to go with snot or Manchu Pikachu? Let's start with the snot. <laughs> let's get this snot over and done with. I'm not... kind of smells like snot. Oh, gosh. Tis the season. Everyone's allergies are acting up. Runny noses. Why not put it in a bottle, right? Yeah. All right. Little snot on the chip. Here we go. Yeah. Definitely got some heat. Other than that. It's got heat. It's, and actually, it's a horrible aftertaste. It's terrible. It's, absolutely, it's kind of bitter. It's better than snot. It's like hot snot. Terrible. All right. Oh. Chipotle. Manchu. <laughs> Chipotle pepper sauce. Machu Picchu. Oh, get out of here. Pikachu sounds better. All right. At least this one smells better. Holy Lord, it came out fast. <laughs> Good God Almighty. All right, I got to eat it. <clears throat> Can't tell if there's a little residual heat left from the last one or not, but I think there's a little heat there. Got some smokiness, some garlicky flavor. Was, that's not half bad. I was going to say that's not half bad. Not half bad. Not Definitely not the best that we've ever had, but... But for it's the international for, box. For that box. That's pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't horrible. I would give that. Oh. I'll give that a middle of the road rating. So we're not just going to throw it away. No, I would not <clears throat> just throw that, that, that away after this one. Cleanse the palate. Definitely cleanse the palate. Fair and balanced. All right. Calamity Pain, Pepper Palace. Ooh, we've definitely had some Pepper Palace yep. on this show. Okay. That's very herbaceous wait do you want a different chip yeah i was just giving you that to cleanse the palate yeah let me grab another siete chip (laughs) whatever you wish there we go this is very herby smelling 
little little thicker. A little different color. Looks good. That's different. It's very different. I don't taste nearly as much heat. But I like it. It's very... I like it that it's not blowing me out of the water. I actually get some flavors. What are we tasting there? Get, so... Get see. In the bottle? Yeah. Uh, cayenne, black pepper, white pepper. Let me lean up here where you can actually hear me. That's actually good. Cayenne, black pepper, white pepper, thyme, bay leaf, oregano, sugar, onion, garlic. I can taste the thyme, bay leaf, and oregano. It's almost got almost like an old bay taste to it. That's very tasty. I could do that one. I think you That's could put one. that on like some shrimp, some grilled shrimp. Man, that'd be really good. I like that. Yeah, <clears throat> good good job, Pepper Palace. We appreciate you. Yeah. Now, woos. What I've everybody never, came never, here to see. I've never had woos. woos. We appreciate you for thinking of us. Absolutely. Hey, and just just for sending this to it, everybody go check these guys out. Uh, check them out online. It's woos and W O O S exclamation point. Damn it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot, man. From Char Charleston, South Carolina. Info at woozhotsauce.com. That's how you can reach out to them. Info at woozhotsauce.com. I'd like to go to Charleston. Yeah, I'd love to. Bring my golf clubs. I'll bring some of this hot sauce here and we can try it out on some shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm talking about? Let's go. Woo. All right, here we go. Want to make sure to get plenty on this one. Okay. Easy, big fella. Here we go. Come on, woo. It's in a glass bottle, so you can't, like, squeeze it out. I might have to have another hit of that one. Yeah, I taste traditional. That's the very first word that comes to my mind. Well, which is not a it's a, not a negative. <clears throat> this is what I would say about it, because I'm a huge fan of the of a traditional hot sauce. Yeah. One thing that I strike down some of them about is being too vinegary. Pardon me. Neck queef. Sorry. <laughs> um, it being too vinegary. Where you only taste the vinegar, you don't taste the peppers. I actually can taste the peppers there, and they're right. It's it's hot like heck. It's not. It's it's got some heat there. It's not very much, but it's not. It's it's enough to where you can put a good amount of it on something and be able to sure. taste it. It's not going to blow your head off. It didn't mind, right? And I'm the novice, right? I think this is a really good place for folks to start with hot sauce. Um, a lot of people will pick up Tabasco and they'll get their head bit off. Because uh, Tabasco kind of sneaks up on you with the heat, I think this is a nice, this is a this is a good hot, it's a good hot sauce. It's all I can really yeah. say. You could put that. That's got so much versatility there. Um, like I said, whenever traditional hot sauces try to put too much vinegar in there, you lose the the garlic and the onion and the the, the peppers and different types of peppers that are in there. They didn't do that on this one. They they didn't go to so crazy with the vinegar that it, you just get a mouthful of vinegar like you do with these. <laughs> So, yeah, I like it. Woo's good job. But it's interesting that he mentioned Tabasco because on a previous podcast, I got burned with that. Oh, yeah. And Your dad was making <laughs> Big Don was on the on the, the, the review with us and he he was making fun of Bradley for right. lit up. So for those just starting out like me or uh, just wanted something a little less, uh, this is a good this is really good. And you can do, as Blake said, as much as you want. It's not going to get you. Yeah, this is one of those hot sauces you could put on the table and everybody can enjoy. Yeah. It's some. It's not something that's going to be limited to somebody who um, has just an extreme tolerance for heat. No. But we appreciate you. Thank you, Woos, Absolutely. for thinking of us and giving us a chance <clears throat> to taste 
review yep. your product. Yep. And now, uh, so this is the point where we will rate our hot sauces that we have before us. And I we, think we a, do no spin. No, no, no. There's no favoritism here. We always uh, rate it honestly. How we feel to our taste buds. And we encourage you to keep an open mind whenever you try uh, your hot sauces and, and rate them uh, according to how you think. So, but so I uh, think we're on the same page with four and three, probably. Yeah, this was obviously the, yeah. the, snot, the snot. That's got to be the last. Pikachu. Machu Picchu has got to <laughs> be number three. All right. This is where we so might this is differ. where this is where the rubber hits the road right here. Do you want to go with the the. Uh, Hot sauce king, or do you want to hear from the novice? Uh, you can go ahead first. Woos. Definitely prefer yours over the traditional Tabasco. I prefer the flavor of Pepper Palace. Okay. So for you, Calamity Pain was two, and no. Woos, or excuse me, Calamity Pain was one, Correct. Woos was two. Yes. Okay. Just in this lineup. I am a little bit more of a hot sauce enthusiast, and I actually prefer Woos over Calamity Paint. I, I would think say I had a hard time saying that this is a hot sauce. Agreed. And maybe that's why I liked it. Better. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's, for everybody that doesn't know, he's not, he's new to the hot sauce game, if you will. Yeah. Uh, I think sometimes with some of these hot sauces, quote unquote, uh, which is, I think, what this falls into, I think they get a little too creative. I think they've created a nice sauce, but I would not call it a hot sauce. I think this is a great basting sauce. I call it yummy. I think this right here can be used on just about anything. Chicken, shrimp, anything. I Steak. Agree. It can be. So for me, it's woos, then calamity pain, then Machu Picchu, <laughs> then the snot that's going in the garbage as soon as we turn the camera off. And then without any debate, it's always... Siete. Absolutely. For our chips. Absolutely. Seriously, you guys go check out your uh, uh, your fine grocer that you go to and uh, check out all the Siete products. They got some some good holiday uh, treats that are out there right now. Some cinnamon crisps. Uh, I think they call them mini, mini buñuelos. God, I'm terrible at that. <laughs> they were mini delicious. They were mucho delicioso. There you go. Uh, but yeah, be sure to check that out. And everybody uh, check out Woo's Hot Sauce. Really cool. Again, that uh, website is info at woozhotsauce.com. Check them out. I think they're on, they're actually on, they're on Instagram. That's how so they, we got in contact with each other is on Instagram. So check them out on Instagram as well. But thank you, Wooz. We appreciate the thoughtfulness. Absolutely. Well, that was a hot sauce review. It was yummy. Absolutely. Minus this nut. All right, guys, go check out Wooz. Check out Siete at your local grocer. You guys, be well.